guys welcome back to my channel my name is sophia if this is your first time on my channel you are highly highly welcome shout out to all my amazing members shout out to all my amazing subscribers and supporters okay guys as the title i've already said we are going to be making a week meal okay for my large family okay guys so let's get into this video without wasting time all right guys so first thing first i'm going to be making because it's a week meal I'm going to be making chicken peri peri first. I got my chicken wings here. So we are going to be doing chicken peri peri. So I got this chicken wings from... Where did I get it from again? I can't even remember. I think I must have gotten it from Iceland. I think it's Iceland. Yeah, I think it's from Iceland. Okay. Did I got it from? Yeah, yeah. I think it's from Iceland. There. It's written Iceland. I <laughs> just saw it now. Iceland, can you guys see there? So I'm going to let me move the camera closely. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my website sophiasfab.com. I leave the leave it on the screen and it's always on the description section. So guys, let me open this. Please share this video. I'm sure it will be helpful to someone that has a large family like me. I swear, even if your family is not large, it's going to be helpful to you. I swear. Please, you learn how to make chicken peri peri from scratch if you don't know how to do it already. <laughs> okay, so that's my chicken wings, which I'm going to be washing. I have my peri peri seasoning here. Okay, I always like to add some dark soy sauce, or you can use the light one. So my chicken peri peri, remember this thing has salt. So if you are going to follow this, this has salt already. So you have to, maybe the best is not to use salt at all. But I'm going to use a little bit of aromat instead of using salt. So I'll use a bit of that. Okay guys, so let me go and wash my chicken and I'll come and show you guys how I season it. Okay guys, so I've washed my chicken here. And I'm going to be adding some peri peri seasoning to it. This peri peri seasoning has some crushed pepper inside. You just have crushed pepper. It doesn't mean that the peppers are really hot. They are not hot. You just crushed pepper flakes and some other seasoning. Everything is written in the back there. Okay. So I'm going to add just a bit more to it. And I'm going to add a bit of aromat. Remember the soy sauce has salt already. So I try to avoid putting salt. I don't even add any salt, so don't add any salt to yours when you are doing it. If you are following my step, don't add salt because these things they got salt already. So that's my uh, what do you call it? Soy sauce. I'm using the dark one. This is just going to add flavor, more flavor, and also. It's going to make it a little darker. It's going to make the chicken a bit dark. And so I just like doing this. Some people don't put this in the normal peri peri chicken. People don't really put oil sauce. But I just like it. I'm adding some chopped onions to it as well. I think I need to zoom my camera out a little. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to stir this. Precious, give me the clean thing there. So I'm just tossing it. I had a little bit of aromat again, thank you. My daughter is here helping me, precious. She's learning how to cook as well. How to make African food in bash. Because I'm not using salt, so... I'm using aromat and soy sauce. As I say, the the probably the original recipe of peri peri. There's no soy sauce, but me, I like to do mine different, and I just use this peri peri seasoning. I like doing mine different. All right, guys. So I have my meat here. I got some beef meat here, which I'm going to be using for my stew because I'm going to be making stew and vegetable soup. I have ubu here. This is pumpkin leaf for those that does not know. We call it ugu in Nigeria. This is pumpkin leaf. I put it in the freezer. That's why it's like this. I was trying to preserve it. I don't want to get spoiled. So this is pumpkin 
leaf there's a different type of pumpkin this is a not the pumpkin yellow one this is a different type of pumpkin okay so this is the leaf so i'm just going to plug them out wash them and i'm going to be adding some spinach to it as well so i'm going to be making this vegetable soup with some tomatoes my own way okay so that's why i have this here And then I have my meat here, my proteins. All my proteins are here because I'm also I'm using this for the vegetable. This is white catfish. White catfish. So let me open it. I don't know what catfish is called in English. I don't know if that's what it's called in English. I don't know if that's what it's called in English. You can see the name. Maybe that's why it's called in English, but we call it white catfish. Okay. Let's pour it in that bowl so you can see it properly. So I got this is beef meat. It's got beef meat here, which I'm going to be washing. And then over here, I'm also thinking of making either jollof rice or fried rice. I'm not so sure yet. Because this is for a week. I'm preparing for a week. So this is um, turkey, this is fresh turkey meat here, it's turkey bed, turkey. Everybody know turkey already, turkey. So that's a fresh one, I'm going to be using some of them, I'll return the rest to my freezer. And this is the smoked one, this is the smoked turkey, the one they've smoked already, so it's like pre-cooked, but smoked, that's why it's like that. So I'm going to be using this for the vegetable soup. Okay, yeah, with the fish. Okay, so I'm going to be making this the tomato stew with the fresh turkey and the meat that I'm going to be washing. I got some onion already here that I'm going to be using. And also over here on the cooker, let me show you guys. I have my cow skin that I'm cooking already. Because I'm cooking this. This was a dry cow skin from Nigeria. I have to soak it overnight, cook it so it can be soft. Okay, so I'm cooking it for a while already, so you guys can see. Because I need to be soft. Right, guys, let's get cooking. All right, my amazing people. So this is my meat. The meat is at the bottom. I've had the turkey on top of it, so I'm just seasoning it. I've had some garlic, ginger, onion, um, thyme some salt and i'm adding some chicken stock cube non chicken cube so it i forgot i don't have rosemary i like to put rosemary in my meat but i didn't have rosemary so i'm not using rosemary because i've run out of it okay so i'm just adding my remaining season cube my cow skin is cooked already so I just thought I would show you guys I haven't had any water to the meat yet I haven't had any water so it's just boiling in its own liquid so it's the beef meat and it's fresh turkey that is in here okay guys please give this video a thumbs up share it consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already all right so let's continue our cooking guys okay guys did i mention i was going to be cooking fried rice <laughs> and beans i swear i forgot so i got my beans boiling already and then this is for the fried rice so what i do is i wash this rice with hot water several times and then i'm going to be using the meat stock i'm going to add a bit of curry just to make the because I forgot to add the curry to the meat when I was boiling the meat. I forgot to add it. So I'm going to sift. I'm going to sift the liquid because I don't want all the particles inside it. So this is the meat stock over here. Okay, this is the stock that I got from the turkey and the meat, the beef meat. So I'm going to sift it. Because I don't want the particles. Okay. 
so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a bit of water, add a bit of um, curry, just to add a bit of color. So there's still a bit of particle there, but it's fine. It's not all of it. If I have used my other sieve, the one I use for flour, that sieve is much better. The holes are not as big as this one. So I'll just add a bit of curry, add a bit of water, and then I'm going to steam it to cook. Then I'll fry it with the vegetables and the diced chicken cube. Okay, so I just thought I would mention because I think I forgot to mention I'm making fried rice and beans. This is beans in the pressure cooker. Okay, guys.
Okay guys, chicken is ready. My chicken peri peri is here. Fried rice is here. I'll show you guys properly. I just wanted to show you guys the chicken before the children eat out of it. Okay, that's the chicken, the fried rice. I'll show you guys the remaining food in a second. which they are already consuming <laughs> let's take that out and over here we have our tomato stew okay. and then we have our chicken peri peri our chicken peri peri over here so guys that is all the food i made today once they are cooled down they were going to go into the fridge okay yeah, once they are cool then. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing if you like videos like this. Let me zoom it in so you guys can see my soup. Can you guys see that vegetable soup? It's looking tempting. Yeah, guys. So that's all I made today for the week. Okay. Tomato stew, some fried rice, some beans and vegetable soup okay guys thanks so much for watching catch you guys in my next video bye guys